Have you ever come out on a cold, dreary morning to experience this? Well, I sure have, and it only means one thing, dead battery. This is Trip on Two Wheels. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with my 2016 BV350, and obviously the battery is drained. It is dead. So today we're going to tell you how to charge the battery, how to access it. It's pretty much the same on all BVs, certainly on all BV or Beverly 350s. So the first thing we want to do is obviously turn off the key. Secondly is to find this button here on the left-hand side. It's the seat release button. And you'll notice this sort of area up front as a compartment it holds the battery underneath and a handy toolkit so what we do is hit this tab push it in and pull up firmly take off this top it's hinged here but it comes right out you'll find a toolkit inside and there are the most common tools in this kit that you'll need to help you do little odds and ends and what we're going to do today is pull off the battery cover and i'm going to show you how to charge the battery or jump start the battery so first things first you'll notice three screws right here holding down the battery compartment cover and if you look real closely they're torx head screws uh it looks like about a 27 or maybe something a little bit smaller i don't know exactly what it is but i will find out and superimpose that on the video here so i'm looking at my toolkit and i find the torx head screwdriver it looks like the smaller of the two so i'm going to insert that into the handle and i'm going to take out lefty loosey righty tidy i'm going to take out the three screws here now you want to be careful with these screws because again, they're Torx screws and you can't just go down to the hardware store and buy them. Keep a hold of them, put them in a little Ziploc bag. I'm going to stick them right down here. Now you can see underneath the battery compartment cover, there is obviously the battery. There's the positive side or positive pole, positive connection, and the negative. Very important. The positive will have a positive, a plus sign, and it is usually red. Almost always red. The bottom or the next one over will have a negative and it is black. It is the negative connector or pole. Now from here on out you could do a couple of different things. You could actually take the battery out and if you were to look into the toolkit, which we'll do here, you would find or get your screwdriver handle, the large Phillips head screwdriver. Put that in there, take this guy out and loosen up, take off the uh, the two main uh, connectors here, take the battery out uh, and you could either charge it on a charger or put it on a trickle charger, whatever. Or what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually jump start it with a portable charger. Now by all means, you don't have to use one this fancy. You don't have to use one with this many peak battery amps. Uh, this is a scooter. It's a small motor, 330 cc's. You do not need something this big. Pretty much anything will do. And now I'm gonna take the leads and I'm gonna hook the red one or the positive to the positive side, positive terminal, like so. And we're gonna put the negative either ground it, but I'm just gonna hook it right to the, the negative side there. We've got that right, and you can see I'm registering 12.8 volts. The battery clips are lined up correct. We're gonna set that right there like so. And now we're gonna set the seat down so I can get to the key and the starter switch. And also on the scooter, you have to pull in the brake here with this lever on the left to get things to work. Then we're gonna turn on our key, squeeze in the lever. Success! Now to lift the seat and carefully remove the two poles of the battery. Now we're going to take this guy out of here. Now I'm going to wait and let the BB350 run about 15 or 20 minutes to make sure that I've got a good charge in the battery. 20 minutes later. Welcome back. I've let the BB350 run about 20 minutes to charge up the battery. And so I'm going to turn off the bike. We're going to wait just a second and then we're going to try starting it back up to make sure that the battery has been charged adequately. The last thing you want to do is put the cover back on, bolt her all up, uh, go to ride it and find out that uh, you didn't get an adequate enough charge in the battery or the battery was just dead and won't hold a charge. All right, grab the brake lever, hit the key, let the computer get going there for a second and hit the power button. And we've got success. The battery's all charged up and she's running like a top. So now let's turn her off. And now before we put the covers back on, we're going to make sure everything is tight. And let's give the terminals a test there. Make sure they're snug, and they are. Fuses are all in place. Hand down snug, very good. 
we're going to take and put the battery cover back in place. Now there's some plastic hinges on here that you need to be careful of. You get those seated. They kind of hinge down in there like so. That also helps these uh, holes line up real well. I don't like to tighten them all down all the way. I like to get them just so they're snug or almost snug and then I'll go back and retighten them. That way in case anything is a little off you don't bend or break anything. And you don't want to tighten these too tight. You don't want to strip anything out. These are plastic. You don't want to crack them. Now that that's complete, we want to take and uh, put our tool kit back together here. So we've got that down snug. There's also some plastic uh, teeth there or hinges or lips or protrusions, whatever you call them. All right, nice and tight. Shut the lid and we're done. Thanks for joining me today. Hope this has been helpful. Again, this is Trip on Two Wheels. And as always, please ride safe and ride often.